Hey guys, it's Mallard with another stamp video, and today we are going to do a what's in the box video. Found a few valuable stamps recently. Let's try to keep that train rolling. Gonna reach in here, grab a few, nice little pile, get a little bit more. Yeah, that should be a good amount. Let me set this over here, put these down. All right, I'll try to go slow so you guys can see them. This stems from Austria. Lighting is better today. I don't know if you guys can or recognize or notice it because I'm doing this in the day and the sun is out in Chicago today, so it's a good day. For Chicago people and weather. Nice old Natal postage. I also do have good news. Gary Powell was super easy to get in contact with. Super easy to confirm it was him. So these stamps were sent out to him yesterday. So Gary, thanks for entering. Hope you enjoy going through that big box of stamps. It'll take you a while, trust me. Turkey. Yeah, so the next video I post, which should come tomorrow or the next day or sometime this week, will be a video talking about the February stamp giveaway. It will be exactly like the January stamp giveaway. All you got to do is enter your name down below the um, video in the comment section and you'll be entered and then we'll do the drawing like we have been doing for the previous giveaway in January. What is that? Straights. I think we did one of those earlier. This is Spain or Spain or Cuba or something like that. There's stamps like that that look the same that are from two different two different countries. But yeah, so be looking for that video so you can enter. And it will run all the way through the end of February and then we will do the drawing March first. I think this is India. I think. I can't tell for sure. Look at this. A Brazil stamp with uh, Washington on it. George Washington. That's pretty funny. That's a clean stamp too, though. Alright, we'll keep moving. Haven't found anything super interesting yet. Oh, that's cool. German Zepp, used. Not not the really expensive Zeppelins, but a German Zepp nonetheless. Trinidad Tobago. Austria. Oh, nice. Victoria. With a Melbourne cancel. That's a sweet stamp. I'm going to keep this one to the side. I don't think this one's going to be super valuable, but we're, we'll keep it to the side. It's a cool stamp. With the, with the cancellation especially. I have had someone tell me that I need to start... Uh, Christian specifically said I should start putting aside all the stamps that have um, perfins. Um, which are the little holes that are punched inside the stamp to prevent, to prevent counterfeiting and whatnot. And... I think I'm going to start doing that. I got to go back through all the stamps that I've done in these videos and do that because people ask for stamps that have perfins in it and I just don't really pay attention to them too much. And so I should start doing that because if I don't care about the perfins and someone does, I should probably give those to the person who does care about the perfins, um, who collects them. I do not collect them at this point. Maybe I will in the future, but right now I am not collecting them. Also, this stamp reminded me of it, the one I'm about to pick up. Shout out to Doug Moss. Doug actually sent me a few stamp books, um, catalogs that helped me identify stamps. And he also sent me one where you see this cancellation is numbered. That number corresponds with where it was canceled at, so like a town or a city. And I was able to go through and find out where a few of my penny reds and stuff were canceled at, which is really, really cool. The actual city they were canceled at, so... Doug Moss, thank you so much for the books. I got them, and I already went through them, and I'm 
they're on my shelf. I'm going to use them hopefully every day if I have time to stamp every day. But we'll keep going. Can you Uganda? So right now we only have one interesting stamp. I bet you there's going to be more in here. I am also thinking about doing a video. Is this Spain? I think this is Spain. So I think some of these stamps in here are Spain. Doing a video on my favorite um, stamp YouTubers. I think that could be helpful for you guys. Is this New Zealand? Yeah, it is. I'll put that one over there. I think we've looked one of those up recently, but it's okay. My favorite stamp YouTubers, guys I've learned from, guys who I respect. Um, this is cool, St. Helena. I'll keep that one to the side, too. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Finally, we're getting a few good stamps. Uh, like I said, guys I respect, guys I watch whenever their new video comes out. Because one of my friends challenged me. He said, you said you support all other YouTubers. Well, why don't you make a video about the YouTubers that you um, watch? And I said, cool. That sounds good. Um, I think, like I said, we're a big stamp community. We're just here to, to help each other out, um, to learn new things, to help identify stamps and whatnot. And I think there's some people that do parts of that better than I do. And so I would be selfish not to share those people with y'all. And so that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on making a video. I don't know how many channels I'll put in there. I, I probably will put in as much as I can uh, just to give everyone a shout out. Everyone that I watch, everyone that I use when I'm trying to identify stamps or something like that. Because again, we're one big family and we just want to help each other out. So that's what I'm going to do. Persia. I think. And last but not least... Australia. I think we got time for a few more. I'll grab a few more. I didn't I didn't grab a ton, but just to make this a little bit longer. So yeah, I guess I got some videos coming up. So be on the lookout for those. I try to do three a week. So I try to do uh what's in the box, a grab bag, and then like a random one. So, sometimes I get three in a week, sometimes I get more, sometimes I get less. Oh, nice. Nice, pretty India stamp. South Australia. few more this one might be old nah it's just Chile all right two more oh yeah Barbados stamps are always so so cool I love them super clean that one centered really well too uh, it's not perfect but it's centered pretty well last but not least another South Australia all right guys well I guess we are gonna go find the values of these guys over here we got this one st. Helena New Zealand, I think I've found one like this before, but I'm still going to go look again. And Victoria with a Melbourne cancellation. All right, guys, I'll go get the values. I'll bring you all back in. All right, guys, we are back, and I did get the values. I was able to find all of them, so no mess through stamps today, but that's okay. So this stamp, let me get that hair off the edge of it. This stamp is from Victoria. It was made between 1890 and 1895, and it is only worth 55 cents. But really clean Melbourne cancellation that is really, really cool. I think this stamp is awesome. I'm going to go put this in my stock book for sure. Next, we have St. Helena. This stamp was printed between 1890 and 1897, and it is actually worth $14 canceled. Um, you can see that purple cancellation right there. So this stamp is actually pretty cool. It's in really nice condition. Light cancellation, um, fourteen dollars in my two thousand stamp, two thousand and seven Scott catalog. So I need to go put this in my island page in my stock book. Now this New Zealand stamp, let me see if I can get it. I wasn't sure it was going to be worth any money. I remember, sorry, there's like these hairs here. I remember that I think we looked for one earlier. It's a red one. It wasn't worth too much money. 
Uh, well, this stamp was printed in 1890, 1874. It is actually worth $32. So not a bad find here either. Heavy cancellation like you can see. But still, worth $32 printed in 1874. So yeah, guys, that was our What's in the Box video for today. Thank you all for watching. Be on the lookout for my videos coming up. I appreciate you all.